Hi, my name is Kelly. Today I will be talking about um, the film Whale Rider. Um, I really liked the film. It um, was really powerful and it was really interesting. Um, I really like stories about girls kind of uprising um, and that's exactly what this film was about. Um, it was about the girl who you know, wants to do what the boys are doing and they don't want her to do that. Um, I really, I really liked it. I really thought it was a good film. I thought it was really interesting. It was really capturing. It had a lot of, um, good mix of, you know, like action and drama. Um, I saw a lot of, um, intersections between the material and the performances, uh, specifically the videos we watched. Um, I saw a lot of um, things similar with the movie and like the Tandarum dances. Um, you know, a lot of the like lower squatting movements um, as well as the Kapahaka um, the like the chanting and stuff and the um the intensity of it was really um similar and as well um there was like some parts of it where um there it almost seemed like the poi dancing I know that they didn't have like the poi balls but um it was kind of similar, um, in, like, the hand gestures and the singing, um, which seems to be, like, a pretty common thing amongst Aboriginal and Maori dancing is, like, very low to the ground, um, hand movements and singing or chanting. Um, another thing is that, um, the ritual behind all of it is very interesting. Um, it makes it really intense, like specifically when um, the main teacher is teaching the young boys about like the facial expressions and he's saying that like, he says like, when you stick your tongue out, it means it's showing your opponent like, I'm going to eat you. Like, you know, I'm, your head is going to be on the end of my stick. And like, that's really intense because like, we don't really fight like that anymore. You know, we don't that we've like moved on in weapons and we don't really use um the sticks that they were using I forget what they were called but and like we you know we don't really fight like that anymore and so like that's definitely a ritualistic part of it it's you know it's calling back to when they did fight like that and how you know how to make themselves seem bigger and scarier and tougher um so that was really interesting um Along with that, Pi's story was really intense, and, like, I found some points of it I was, like, kind of almost tearing up, like, not quite, but I was, like, really sad for her, and really, like, I don't know, it just, it hit in a lot of ways because, like, you know, as a girl, you're told so often that, like, oh, you can't do that, or, like, you're not strong enough, or, you know, you're not big enough, you know, and, um... I, it, that was just really powerful, um, and, like, luckily, I have been able to surround myself with people who kind of think more in a way of, like, you can do that rather than, like, you can't do that, um, and so it was, um, relatable in a sense, like, just being a girl in general, um, that's kind of how it feels all the time is like men and culture is telling you that you can't do the things that you want to do. Um, so yes, that was a very emotionally powerful for me. Um, yeah, like I said in the beginning, I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was really interesting. Um, it was very well done and it gave me a lot of insight into Maori culture, which is really cool. Um, I actually, when I was in high school, took Maori dance classes, so I've actually danced poi before. Um, that's just a little anecdote. But yeah, great film. Would recommend to a friend.